Shalom families, there is a concerted effort and attack and war on our food supply. And if you've been watching this channel and catching up on the news that I bring to you regularly, you will know this by now and we can see it every day. So here's two stories for you that again assert this exact fact. Farmers are sounding the alarm of the perfect storm pushing the United States into a food crisis. American liberals who join their global counterparts in applauding the acclaim of sustainability, among other interests, are ignoring the damage their policies are wreaking on U.S. agriculture. Globalist green policies, as well as inflation and rising costs, have led to thinner herds and in some instances foreclosure or shuttering of farms completely, bringing with them a potential domestic food crisis. And this doesn't even factor in the current fires and decimation of the American herd taking place right now as I speak. What's happening in America's beef cattle producers are depleting their herds. They're not having any more calves. They can't multiply. Boyd said there has been a 1 billion pound decrease in U.S. beef production over the past year warning that it's impending crisis that every American d could discover one day at their grocer or butcher. Now add the fires into that as well and the decimation of the herd even further at that point, And it is at crisis point, not tipping point. The New York Attorney General is suing the world's largest beef producer over methane emissions and climate commitments. <coughs> Letitia James is suing JBS USA, the world's largest producer of beef, over the company's emissions and for greenwashing by allegedly misleading the public about its environmental impact. In an announcement, James noted that beef production has the largest greenhouse gas footprint of any major food commodity and that animal agriculture accounts for 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emission. According to James, JBS USA's various net zero pledges for 2030 and 2040 are therefore misleading and not feasible, given the scope of its worldwide beef production operations. At a time when the herd is completely decimated, now burnt, all their food supply destroyed and the rest of them on their way into the exit, they're still attacking beef and meat everywhere that they can because their plan is to remove that completely in their following seven years of famine it's going to be hectic especially for everyone that enjoys eating meat god bless keep looking up keep shining your light keep preaching the gospel to as many as you can while we can because it's not long now shalom